Humans are born with freedom, freedom to express oneself, freedom to be happy, to enjoy the life that you have, to show the world your smile, and freedom to live your life so your heart's content. But then, life is full of surprises. Due to the rapid increasing of COVID-19 cases, the Department of Health and the President of the Philippines imposed a lockdown to slow the virus from spreading and to keep people from going outside to avoid being infected by the virus. It is funny how everything suddenly turns upside down. It is funny how suddenly our freedom was taken away from us. We suddenly become prisoners in our own home, like a bird jailed in a cage. It is a shame that we can no longer laugh and tell stories with our friends. And it's sad that we can no longer show our smile because of the mask that we need to wear in order to protect ourselves from COVID-19. But how did this happen? In December 2019, the COVID-19 was identified in Wuhan, China. The virus subsequently began to spread like wildfire not only in the aforementioned country, but also in several other countries throughout the world, including the Philippines. It caused death, hunger, and fear for the people. It caused a lot of people to lose their jobs, and some even closed their businesses for good. But who is actually responsible for all this? Animals may be the hosts of the virus that we have been battling, but we couldn't blame them for it because they are just as much as a victim of it as we are. And the ones who are responsible for the pandemic that we are facing right now are none other than us humans. It's almost been two years since the pandemic started and professionals in human health such as doctors, nurses, public health practitioners, and epidemiologists have been doing their part in fighting this virus since day one. And it's time for us, ordinary people, to do our part too. And we can do it by simply following the safety protocols given by the authorities. Humans, animals, and our shared environment are interconnected. If we are affected, then the other two are affected also. In this time of pandemic, we shouldn't just focus on our own health, but also on the well-being of the animals in our shared environment. We can start by providing health care for the animals and planting trees for the goodness of our environment. These are the first steps for us to move forward. And little by little, we will be able to get out from this fall. One day will come when we won't need to wear face masks in order to protect ourselves anymore because finally, we are free from the COVID-19 virus. Pandemic may have turned us into prisoners, but we will fight and break free from the bars that cage us. As one.